Hey, how you guys doing tonight? Everybody having a good time so far? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Thanks for coming out. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's a nice, beautiful religious holiday. We should all be happy about that because we got a new pope. It's very exciting. We got a new pope. I'm very excited about that uh, because they picked the Latin man to be the new pope. And that's pretty awesome. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. He's from Argentina. Catholicism just got a little bit more sexy. Yeah. That's the shit. Just imagine Sunday Mass every time, he'll just get up there. Right? That's gonna be the shift. Everybody's gonna go to church after that. Everybody's gonna fucking hit church up. It's gonna be great. I can't wait. But I'm really excited about that because maybe the new Pope, he says he's a Latin man, he can spread some love, and the whole world could be a nice, better place. Because we all know that the world needs to be a better place. There's a lot of crazy ass fucking people in the world. North Korea keeps fucking up. North Korea is fucking up real bad. North Korea thinks they could do all kinds of shit. Alright, trying to send bombs here and there, whatever. We need somebody to tell North Korea what's up. We need to tell us, we need somebody to tell North Korea how it is. So I nominate Dr. Phil to go all the way to North Korea and tell North Korea how it is. Because North Korea is fucked up. You ever seen pictures of North Korea? It looks like Mordor. Alright? There's nothing but a bunch of black ass fucking mountains everywhere and one little Asian dude sitting on a tower just shaking his fist at everything. Alright? It sucks. We need Dr. Phil to go over there and tell it like it is and take care of fucking business. Alright? Because he'll do it. He needs to just go to every single country and tell it like it is. He would. North Korea, this is the worst Dr. Phil impression on the face of the planet by the way. So you guys are about to witness this. You're welcome. Alright? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> North Korea, let me tell you something. This is Dr. Phil McGraw. I'm gonna tell y'all like it is, okay? And this mustache don't lie. This mustache ain't no bullshit. This is a straight up Dr. Phil mustache. Y'all understand this, North Korea? You little motherfuckers can't grow a mustache like this. Y'all grow Fu Man Chews. That ain't right, okay? <laughs> let me tell y'all something, North Korea. You think you can send a rocket made out of chopsticks all the way to America? It ain't gonna happen. Shut the fuck up and chill the fuck out. Okay? Hey Iran, quit fucking with Israel. Quit being dicks. All y'all people is the same. All your breath smells like is pita chips and land meat. Shut the fuck up and chill the fuck out. <laughs> that right there, I think that was the best doctor for impression that right thing. I don't know. What do y'all think? Thank you. Like the one guy, the one guy in the corner over there. <laughs> but that, that, that's cool, man. You know, we, we, it, it's just jokes. You know, it's just jokes. That's why it's really cool that we got a, a president like Obama in office. And that's really, really awesome, you know. Oh, I think Obama's going to do a lot of good job, a lot of good work. He's going to be great. He's going to do the best thing ever, you know. A lot of people, a lot of people hate Obama, too. They think he's just going to take everything away. A lot of people are straight tripping on Obama, and that's some bullshit, all right? Like my buddy White. My buddy White, his mom, she just freaks the fuck out. When, when Obama won the election, she just lost it. I could hear her over the phone. She, she called him and I could hear her just screaming over the phone. And, oh my God, White! Oh my God, Obama just won the presidency. You got White. It's over, it's all over, White. What are we gonna do? Everything's done. The world's gonna end, White. He's gonna let the gays get married, White. The gays are gonna get married. He's gonna rename Jesus Jesus, White. He's gonna give all the jobs to the Mexicans. I don't know what we're gonna do, White. What we, oh my god, White! He's gonna let the gays get married, they're gonna have gay babies who are gonna grow up to have abortions, White! The gay babies are gonna have abortions, White! <laughs> what are we gonna do? I can't handle this! He's gonna give all the jobs away, White! We gotta stop this! He's gonna send the jobs to India, White! I don't understand what they're saying on the phone, White! I don't get it! Thank you for calling AT&T customer service. <laughs> yes, my name is Howard Cunningham and I live in Milwaukee. I'm being married to a beautiful woman named Marion Cunningham. We have a son named Richie and a daughter named Johnny. They have a friend named Patsy who likes to tell people to sit on it. And there's a young rap scallion that lives above our garage named Fonzie. They all eat at the local eatery called Arnold's. Thank you for calling at and customer. Come again. That's it. Oh my God, White. It's over. It's all over. Indians, White. Dots, not feathers. Dots, not feathers. I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> that's how some people think, and that's fucked up. You know, that's why it's good that we have a president that likes change, that's gonna be able to just, just make everything better, you know? Because I want everything.
everything to be better because I got kids. And I want my kids to grow up in a better world to where we don't have to worry about shit like that. Of people just trip on little stupid fucking things, you know? I got I got three boys. I got three boys. I got a I got a ten year old, I got a seven year old, and I got a two year old. And the two older ones think their names are sit down and shut up. I'm always like, hey sit down, shut up. And when they really piss me off, I gotta throw in their middle names, which is the fuck. Hey, sit the fuck down. Shut the fuck up. And I feel really bad for the baby because he's gonna grow up thinking his name is goddamn. Cause that's all he that's all he ever hears me say when I smell him after he takes a shit. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Oh god damn it! <laughs> Poor baby. He's gonna grow up all fucked up. <laughs> I love my kids. And it is cool too because this time of year, it's baseball time, right? Yeah, yeah right? It's baseball time and I'm gonna put my son in Little League, right? It's really cool. My, my son's a bit heavy too, so I wanna keep him active. You know, there's nothing wrong with eating. I love to eat. But he has to stay healthy and active. I tried putting him in soccer, but I learned really, really hard that soccer is the cruelest kid, cruelest sport to put a fat kid in. Because there's nothing but running. Okay? Think about this a little hard. Sit there, think about it. No, nothing. She gets it. Thank you very much. I like you a lot. I like you. Yeah, you. That's my magic mic. Is that pretty good? Don't lie to me. <laughs> anyway, I'm really happy that my kid's gonna get to play baseball. It's really fucking exciting and it's awesome. But he kind of sucks, and he gets me really pissed off. Now there are two types. Of, there are two types of parents at a children's sporting event. Okay? There's a parent like me who gets really pissed off and just yells at his kid a little bit because I just want him to do better. I don't want him to make me look bad because I help him practice. And if he doesn't do good, he's making me look bad. Hey! Hey! Hey, fix your stance, man! Fix your stance! Don't look at me! Swing for the ball! What the fuck was that? Hey! Fix your stance! God damn it! Why? That's my kid. That's nothing. <laughs> I'm losing it. <laughs> it's alright, it's all good. Now there's the other type of the parent. The opposite end of the spectrum type of parent, okay? There's the over-encouraging soccer mom that drives the Honda Odyssey with the decal sticker of the family in the back that goes from bigger to little. The shrinking family, you know? And she doesn't give a fuck how bad her kid is in sports. She will let everybody in the whole fucking place know that she loves him no matter what. It does not matter. Go, Charlie, go! You can do it, Charlie! Mommy loves you so much, Charlie, go! Swing for the fences, strike one, that's okay, baby! Mommy loves you, go for it! Strike two, that's okay, baby! Mommy loves you no matter what! Swing with your heart! Strike three, that's okay, baby! You did your best, and Mommy loves you so, so much! I gave birth to you for 48 hours, and it was the most painful thing I've ever done in my life! Your head was so big and stretched out my vagina so much, your father said that making love to me is like throwing a hot dog down a hallway, but that's okay, because I love you, Charlie! Oh, God! She does not care. She must be stopped. She must be stopped. <laughs> but that, that's shit you gotta do when you put up with kids. And one thing that's really cool about having kids is that people like me who enjoy cartoons and, and all kinds of cool shit, they get to do that stuff with their kids. Like, uh, Star Wars. I love Star Wars. Star Wars is fucking awesome. Let's give it up for that. If you have kids, you watch Star Wars. If you don't, I love Star Wars. Now, now, now here's an observation I have about Star Wars. Okay? There's a bunch of aliens in Star Wars. Right? And all a bunch of white people. White people and aliens. That's all you have in Star Wars. There are no minorities in Star Wars. There's one black guy in Star Wars. There's Billy Dee Williams, and that's tight, and I'm really happy about it, right? And Billy Dee Williams brings sexy to Star Wars. It's the shit, no matter what. He, he, he's just a, said, hi, you might remember me as Lando Calrissian from Star Wars. And when I'm not, <laughs> when I'm evading the Empire, I like to chill out with a nice cold Colt 45. What was that gay robot? There's something wrong with the hyperdrive reactor? Why don't you just pour some nice cold Colt 45 down it? That'll get it going. Close the door on your way out. 
If the Falcon is a rockin', don't come a knockin'. <laughs> Bill liked that joke. <laughs> and I, you know what's cool too with that having kids? You get to watch uh, you get to watch Transformers with your kids. And that's really tight because I grew up liking Transformers. I get to watch Transformers with them and it's fucking awesome. And there's one thing about Transformers I noticed as well. You cannot have any ethnic Transformers. You really gotta think about it. Walkers, they're robots, you know, so they don't have any race. But you really can't have it. There's the one Transformer, you know it's a black guy because it turns into a boombox. And he plays all the funky jams and shit. Right? But you really can't have any other ethnic Transformers if you think about it. Okay? You can't have a Jewish Transformer. What's he gonna turn into? A cash register? That ain't gonna happen. Right? You can't have an Asian Transformer turn into a car not be able to drive itself, just crash all over the fucking place. Right? The stereotype's there for a reason, ladies and gentlemen. It's the truth. Definitely can't have any fucking Mexican Transformers, that's for damn sure. What's a Mexican Transformer gonna turn into a lawnmower? You can't fight Decepticons like that. Or a Mexican Transformer turn into a minivan that looks small Mexican Transformers can hop their little asses and roll out in. It's just impossible. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. You guys have been great. My name is Luis Moreno. Have a good night.